Music Therapy Now! Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how music might affect your uh, mental well-being or your emotional state or mood. Um, and I was thinking about this because I watched Casablanca recently on a flight home and I thought to myself, oh this is a really great example of how music can affect people differently. So in Casablanca, this is a love story between Rick and Ilsa. The first scene where they reunite, um, Ilsa walks into uh, this cafe that Rick owns and she sees Sam, the piano man, who she recognises from her time with Rick. And she goes up to him and says, play me that song, Sam. And he's all like, no, I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to play that song, Miss Ilsa. And she just keeps pushing and she pretty much pressures him into playing this song as time goes by. And then Rick walks in, he's all angry, like, I told you never to play that song, Sam. During the film, you do find out that they used to be lovers and that this song was played by Sam when they were happily together. And so it is associated with those memories when they were happy together. For Ilsa, she wanted to reminisce. She wanted to listen to this song and remember those times when she was happy. For Rick, because she broke his heart so, so badly, he did not want to remember those times. This song made him feel angry. It made him feel maybe even depressed. The actual song itself is a very nice sounding song. So I just wanted to talk about how music doesn't need to sound sad, it doesn't need to have bad lyrics as such, but it can still bring about negative emotions. Music is heavily associated with emotion, but also it's heavily associated with memory, and that's what makes things so emotional. So even the same piece of music can bring about different emotions in people. So for example, like for me, if I listen to the Spice Girls, it might make me feel nostalgic. It might make me remember the times when I was a little girl in primary school dancing in the schoolyard with my friends pretending to be the Spice Girls. For the guys of my generation, it might remind them of the times when the girls were really annoying and dancing all the time. Someone who's very critical of the composition, they might think, oh, this is rubbish. What is this song? Or some people might just take the lyrics very seriously and very literally and think, you know, maybe I do need to spice up my life. So people might perceive music differently depending on any previous memories that they have with it or um, you know just the sound of it, how the overall sound, texture, timbre, whatever makes them feel. So sometimes I like to compare music against alcohol. I know you might think, oh, it's completely different, but when you think about it, people drink alcohol for social reasons. It might help them get away from any any stress, any things that they're going through at the time. Um, but it, then, if you start abusing alcohol, it can't get to a place where you're actually doing yourself damage, where it's detrimental to your health. So people might be using alcohol to just really surround themselves and immerse themselves in an emotion. And music can do the same thing because it is very emotional. You might listen to a song again and again and again after a breakup because you feel, oh, that's that's really what I'm feeling right now and you just want to get those feelings out but if you are in an emotionally fragile state then it can be very hard to get out of that place so as a music therapist we are trained in things like therapeutic conversation so we don't just leave them in that state where we just give them the music and they might just break down but we do help them work through those emotions Anyways, I just really want to talk about those things uh, because people don't usually think about it, but as a music therapist, we think about these things all the time. How does music affect you? Um, and so, you know, I hope that was interesting. If you've got any questions for me, you can reach me on Twitter at mtnow underscore yuki and on Facebook, Music Therapy Now. Thanks for watching.